In today's episode, we are doing another Outlander location tour. What a place. This is so beautiful. You know, like ducking through trees and little canyons and everything just to get into the. This is not an easy place to get down, but we can manage. There's ropes here that you need to hold on to. Now I've got a wet arse. Holding on to these ropes here for dear life. Oh, we made it down. I'm here at the Devil's Pulpit, which is a place not far away from Glasgow and was in Outlander Episode 6, The Garrison Commander. This place is Finnick Glen and it's absolutely amazing. Like, coming down here was just so incredible. Awesome, awesome stuff. But I'm here for two reasons. First of all, I want to show you guys the kind of Outlander stuff and also I want to talk about the Munro Bagpiper. What you just saw was the Skyboat song, obviously, which is the theme tune in Outlander, as well as a very, very popular song throughout Scotland. And we had an expert playing it for us right here today in the vlog, the Munro Bagpiper. Thank you very much for uh, playing that. That was amazing to Hi, see that welcome. here in this like location, yeah. atmospheric. We got the echoes, which was really, really good. Tell us a bit about what you do, your, your vlogging and your channel. Yeah, and so the Munro Bagpiper started out just, I wanted to climb the mountains, which are called Munro's in Scotland and I wanted to play my pipes on the summit and that's slowly grown and grown and people have taken a bit of interest in it yep. um, people cottoned on to a particular tune that I was playing on the Mon Monroes the Sky Boat song which is actually quite a personal song for me being from the west coast of Scotland where the boat literally sails over the over sea to the sky. sky so I was introduced to Outlander and became a fan yeah. and now I'm going around all the locations and playing my pipes in them that's amazing. It's great to see that you've started to watch and you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's absolutely it's fantastic. It's seeing all the local, the mountains. You can I can name the hills that are in the in the scenes, and you've been to these locations. Some of them I've played in and, and as a child. Yeah. And um, to go and visit them, and people are asking me actually to play specific tunes for them yeah. in these locations, and it's really it's a nice thing to do. Yeah. Well, it's like amazing to play the bagpipes anyway. Like to be able to have that skill, but to like go travel all around Scotland and play in places like this, yeah. just amazing. Like this is such a cool place. It is. I mean, I get a rush out of doing it, you know, especially at the top of a mountain. But in a place like this, you're hearing the echoes, and when it's got a meaning, yeah, you know, I'm, do I'm doing one today. It's a tribute to somebody. It's you know, somebody's passed on, yep. and they're huge Outlander fans, and you know, it just it, it gives you a little something back, and it's nice. Absolutely. Um, so, have you had any kind of favourite parts so far in Outlander? Have you, anything you've really enjoyed? <laughs> Well, as a child, we did a reenactment of the Highland Clearances, yeah. and the part where I'm getting to it's just when the clearances are about to kind yeah. of happen, and it's quite fun sort of looking back on what we did then. So yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Why don't you tell everybody about where they can find you for those of them that have not already saw your your videos because they're they're very popular on Facebook. So the Monroe Bagpiper on Facebook, but I've also got a YouTube channel which I'm going to be doing a lot more sort of vlog kind of stuff. So I'm going to be taking you on my journeys with me in the mountains into the outlander locations and playing the tunes that 
you may be familiar with from Outlander, it may be introducing you to some other ones um, and maybe some different locations that you aren't that aren't maybe on the tourist list for yeah. Outlander uh, that you might find familiar. It sounds like a, an adventure. I think it'd be cool to come in some more of them with you and like going to see more places. Yeah, well, it'll be, it'll be good to get you up a hill, yeah. Sean. That would be quite interesting. Yeah. And like we were thinking when we first had this idea to come here, that like just with the walls on the side, that we just like echo the sound yeah. and like create this environment and great place, right? Yeah, place. it's just stunning. It's absolutely. It's it's like an amphitheater. The, the echoes and the atmosphere. You just think of what used to happen. I yeah. mean, there's a scene in Outlander, but so much has happened down here in the past. And yeah. Stuff that we'll never know, and you can almost feel that atmosphere. As I said earlier, it is episode six. The garrison commander, when Claire is rescued by Dugo and the lads and taken away um, to safety. And Dugo brings her here to this place, which is the Devil's Pool Pit in real life. But actually, they call it St. Ninian Spring or Liar's Spring. And the legend in Outlander is that if Claire or anyone else drank the water from here, they could not tell any lies. So Dugo wanted to test whether she was actually an English spy or not. Made her drink the water, and of course, she still said that exactly the same thing as always. She wasn't a spy. So then, finally, she had gained her trust. So that was the big Outlander scene, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to kind of connect this place with a bit of a tour. So, you, as you say, you're from. I'm from a small village on the mainland opposite the Isle of Skye. Yeah, and up there, it's predominantly Gaelic speaking, or was in the past. Well, it was in the past. Um, where I am on the mainland, it's quite, um, it's, it's more English spoken, but out in the islands. So yeah. North of Sky, Harris, Lewis, um, where my grandfather's from, uh, Gaelic is very much still yeah. a, a prominent language. And my grandfather, who's 85 now, but he had to get taught English. Oh really? Yeah. That's incredible. People ask on this vlog is like, what do you think of the Gaelic in Outlander? And for me, like, I'm a Lowlander, I'm from Edinburgh, I don't have any, I couldn't even tell you. I can say Slangevan, that's about it. <laughs> um, what have you thought about the The Gaelic, Gaelic is very good, yes. It's um, it's bringing it, it's giving it a bit of publicity and yeah. it's making it, uh, making it fashionable again and people that's cool. people are saying the phrases maybe not necessarily knowing what they're meaning yeah. but they're trying to speak it and they're taking more of an interest yeah. in it and it would be great to to just keep it going yeah. there's so much history so much culture wrapped up in that language absolutely and i feel kind of ashamed that like i'd never taken an interest in it before now so it's maybe something i'll look into and you know, as you say maybe we can keep it keep it yep. keep the traditions going right hopefully yeah um it's actually it's quite dangerous down here, like there's a clear path, but if you went off the path, you could get in yourself in trouble, right? It's very dangerous. You have to be prepared to come down. Um, people have got stuck down uh, here. I, I, you've just got to, you've got to have a little bit of ability about yeah. your scrambling and just common sense. Yeah. I think um, stick to the path as well, right? Stick to the path, absolutely. There's, you, if you're an experienced canyoner or gorge walker, then you can go up and down, but if not, just come in and you can just see it here. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah, I mean like, there's a lot of Outlander fans from all around the world right now coming to Scotland to check out the scenes and this is obviously on the list. I mean, it did appear in the episode for like probably 30 seconds or something, but I can see why people want to come, but you just need to remember that like this is a, basically a canyon and like in the last three weeks there's been two or three reports of people being rescued by police and stuff. So like, as you say, just take precautions, right? Wear yeah, the right feet well. Just be sensible. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot for playing it. It was awesome. Yeah. Really, really enjoyed it. You're welcome. It's, it's been a pleasure. And we're going to do it again. So. Stay tuned for that. See you guys. I think it was right here where Dougal made Claire take a wee drink of the water. You can see in the water, it's a really kind of dark red brown color. Actually, this place has got some cool traditions and histories of its own. Like the devil's pulpit part is actually high up on the rock up there. And there was some legend that the devil used to do sermons here. This place was all closed over. So that's the stories from down here. Pretty cool place. Just gonna get myself into the water and do a wee bit of exploring here. Uh, hopefully the water isn't that deep, but I don't want it to come over my wellies anyway. It's so dark, the water, that you can't really tell um, how deep it goes. Wow, it's pitch black, it's like coffee. Well, that looks deep there. There's like a ridge here that I have to kind of carefully walk along. I'm actually filming my iPhone at the moment. Look at this moss on the wall, that's amazing. I'm trying to get up ahead because there's a waterfall. I don't think I'm gonna make it though. The water's just a wee bit too deep here. Been down here messing around for a few hours now and we're gonna try and get the rope back up. It's quite narrow through here. And steep. I think as long as um take it slow, it's not that bad.
All right, folks, we are home from the Devil's Pulpit. I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere between Glasgow and Stirling. Awesome, awesome place. When you go down there into the canyon and you see the kind of green vegetation either side of you going up the cliffs, you think this is like a rainforest, a tropical rainforest. This has no business being in Scotland. It is such an incredible place. I would advise anybody who is able and who is sensible to give it a shot and go there and have a look. But as I say, it is quite dangerous. It's not the safest place in the world and you need to take serious precautions and serious walking gear. It's not for the faint hearted. Again, thanks to Outlander. I owe a lot to Outlander because like, as I said before, there's lots of Scottish history that I've learned through the program. History, culture, and now also locations because that is a place I had no idea about. I would never have been if it wasn't for Outlander. And obviously it appeared in the series and that is the reason I went. Incredible filming locations throughout Scotland. St. Ninian Spring, Liar Spring, an excellent addition to the series. I'm not sure if that was in the books or not, but it was just really incredible to go there and see that place. And we were standing exactly where Dougal and Claire were. Outlander was just inspiring me so much to get out there and adventure Scotland. Adventure everything. And on to that point, I want to talk to you guys about something I am running, a project that I have started the last few weeks and it is about to launch. I am putting together a selection of Scottish products and gifts that I have personally hand selected and I'm going to be sending them out in little boxes for Christmas time. Scottish gifts. I think it'll be a great Christmas gift for anybody who's interested in Scotland. Go and check it out. The web address is www.bonniebox.scot and you'll find all the information there about what it's about. But I'm really excited to be putting together a list of Scottish products. I love Scotland, I love Scottish produce, I love Scottish crafts, but it's a very limited, small number of boxes I'll be sending out to people, so you have to be very quick to get in with a chance of getting one. Link is in the description as well. Go and check it out. And lastly, I just wanna give a big shout out to the Monroe Bagpiper who was there with me today and who played the Skyboat song. That was incredible, he is amazing. He plays the bagpipes in lots of really awesome locations. Uh, and it's just really inspiring what he does. So go and check out his channel. So he's here on YouTube, he's on Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of stuff where you'll go and see his adventures with a bagpipe. But that's it for today's vlog. It was an Outlander tour of sorts. Outlander music, of course, with the Sky Boat song. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much, as always, for watching and leaving your comments. Always hugely appreciated down below your comments and your thoughts. That's it for today's vlog. I will speak to you again really soon. Have a great night. Take care.